As additional courses are added to the wall, the new dura alignment system will have to be installed to ensure additional forms can be added safely. The new dura alignment system not only provides safety for installers, it also provides a platform for concrete placement and ensures that the walls are kept straight. Nudura offers two different alignment systems, the ST and RT. Both bracing systems bring advantages to the job site. Nudura alignment systems are available with our rack system to keep your braces organized and free from damage. Nudura recommends that the Nudura alignment system be installed after the third course has been placed. There are two reasons for this. Safety. The alignment system allows the installer the ability to safely place forms without having to use a stepladder. Support. Because the walls are unsupported until this point, installing the bracing will reduce the risk of wind damage during installation. Before installation of the alignment system can be completed, be sure that you mark all floor joist locations before setting up the alignment system to avoid the alignment system interfering with the joist locations. Mark all corner locations starting in the corner. There should be a brace located three webs from the corner in one direction and four webs from the corner in the other. This will allow the scaffold planks to properly align at the corners and will enable the turnbuckle braces to cross safely without interference. Once everything has been marked out on the wall, the contractor installer should check the alignment system to ensure it's in good working order. Check each component to ensure none of the pieces are bent, cracked, or worn out. Should the contractor installer notice any pieces that pose any type of safety risk, the pieces need to be removed from the set and excluded from use on the wall. Ensure the threads on the turnbuckle move freely for the full length of the threads. Should it become difficult to turn the threads, a light grade lubricant or general purpose grease needs to be applied onto the threads. The Nudura alignment system only needs to be placed on one side of the Nudura formed wall, preferably on the inside perimeter of the building. The box channels will be laid out on the wall at 5 foot 4 inches on center, or 1.63 meters. This will allow for proper plank spacing, as well as sufficient overlap. Attach the box channel ensuring the closed end is at the bottom of the wall. The fastening strip, as already mentioned, is located on 8 inch or 203 millimeter centers marked by a diamond pattern. Place the box channel against the wall so that the holes of the channel are in line with the diamond pattern. To ensure the box channel is plumb, line up the box channel to one of the cut lines next to the web. Take a number 10 Nudura hex head screw with steel flat washer. Place the screws close to the top of the slots at the back of the box channels and drive the screw into the fastening strip so it is snug. Do not over tighten the screw. If the screws are over tightened, forms will not slide vertically on the box channel during alignment. Install one screw per course up the entire height of the wall and install an additional screw in the slot immediately below the platform height. Next, connect the diagonal turnbuckle brace to the box channel using the 1 half inch 13 millimeter diameter gravity pin and anchor the diagonal foot pad to the ground or the floor with either drift pins or a number 10 Nudura hex head screw with steel flat washer. Contractor installers are responsible for the holding capabilities of the drift pins or fasteners that are used to anchor the diagonal foot pad base. Also remember that different lengths of drift pins will be required based upon soil type. Once the diagonal foot pad base has been securely fastened, connect the catwalk bracket onto the adjustable turnbuckle brace. Install the catwalk bracket, ensuring that the hook is engaged over top of the adjustable turnbuckle brace and gravity pin connection. Take the second 1 half inch or 13 millimeter diameter gravity pin and install it through the box channel and bottom leg of the catwalk bracket, securing it together. Simply slide the guardrail post into the catwalk bracket stub and secure it together using the 3 8 by 2 and a half inch 9.5 by 63.5 millimeter lock pin. Add the necessary wood rails and toe kick rails as required 
along with the proper scaffold planking and secure them to the catwalk brackets. Ensure that the extension ladder is secured properly for access to the catwalk. Once the alignment system is in place, you can continue to place forms until you reach your desired wall height. Ensure that you attach the box channel to the additional forms as you work your way up. Once the alignment system has been set up, you can continue stacking forms to your desired wall height. Later in the video, we will discuss aligning the walls for concrete placement.